cheering for me, aren't they? That's for you or, or for Blue? I don't, no, I don't know. know. All right, I want to know right off the bat, um, I've got something where, Jimmy, you ready over there? Come on around. Certainly am, boss. Bring the stick around. I want you to show you something. Uh -huh. I don't know. Uh, I've got something right off the bat that Ralph Mallaby gave me a couple of years ago. And uh, this is a goal That's that a you got your guy. 50th goal in 1968-69. Right there. There it is right there. Let's hear it for you. Right now. And we're going to get it. I asked Ralph to give it to you. That was one that they were supposed to give me back out of the Hall of Fame, Don. They didn't return that one. <laughs> I don't know how I got it, but Ralph got it, and he said to give it to you. Isn't that nice? Yeah, and I want to show you. I was going to ask you about the curve. Now, who's the first guy? You say you had the curve. I'm cur not guilty. Now, who was the first guy? It was Makita. Stan had uh, a terrible habit. If he didn't like a stick, he'd just lean on it and break it. And I said, Stan, and I don't know how many times, I said, there are 400 little guys out there that would just love to have one of your sticks. I said, don't break it, hang it on my rack and I'll see that someone gets it. So we're practicing one day, didn't like his stick, tried to lean on, he could, didn't have enough weight, it was late in the season. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he went over to the door, at our, our uh, bench door, and he rammed it in the door between the hinges. Yeah. And he reared on it and reared on it, and finally it split. Just a little, eh? It split in the blade and the top part flew out and the bottom stayed in and he kept rearing on. So it came out and the stick looked like this. So while he was going downstairs, you know, in Chicago, we had yeah. to go downstairs to the dressing room. He grabbed a puck out in front of the net and he fired it in. And I'm watching him. In the net he goes, fishes it out, come back. he came back again, fired it in. He did this six times. So I said to the guys in the bench, some of the guys were practicing down at the other end, I said, look at Makita, he's really kookaloo now. <laughs> I said, look at what he's doing. So he came up and I said, Stan, what were you doing? firing the puck in the net, fishing it out, firing it. He said, Bobby, he said, when I tried to break my stick, he said, I put a hook in the blade, and he said, can you ever fire it? So after practice, he said, I'm going to call Northland. We use Northland yeah. Pro. This is a CCM. Yeah. Uh, we, I use Northland Pro most of my uh, career, except when I did some advertising for CCM. <laughs> it's like us all. Dave, <laughs> Dave knows about that, too. <laughs> and he said, I'm going to call Northland and get uh, half a dozen made up with a little hook in the blade. And I said, well, order me a half a dozen, too. And from then on, it just went from Ooh. a little bit to uh, where? Where's the cameras? Right over which, there? Which one? Look at that. That's that, that murder, was, sir, and what? That, and at times, it was even worse than that. So I appreciate. You can have that and put it in your rec room. And uh, compliments of Ralph Melby. Boy, yeah, what nice. a, well, look at that. Just, uh, just have another look at it right there. Isn't that something? An all-star could use that. I'll tell you. No, jeez. <laughs> I could have scored with that goal. All right. <laughs> we'll put it right there. All right. Now, uh, yeah, where did you develop that slap shot, though? I mean, that was murder. First of all, let me tell you a story about Cheevers. Jerry Cheevers told me this story, and it's a true story. It was a power play, and the puck would, correct me if I'm wrong, the power play, you had a guy just sifting the puck over uh -huh. nice to you, nice feathering, and you'd hammer it, and he'd be ducking, hoping you'd score. <laughs> Finally, you put it over five times, and the only way it stopped is you hit the crossbar and went in the crowd. He says, I never prayed so hard in my life. Is that a true there story? There was another, yes, but there was another time, even funnier than that, Don. I got it out the point, and uh, the, one of the uh, defenders came out to check me, and I reared back, and I faked it. And I went around him, and he slid past me. And I went in another, oh, 10 or 15 feet, and I wound up again. And one of the defensemen thought that he'd take a chance at it, and he slid out. And I managed to get around him. Now I'm about from here, uh, maybe over to, to Jimmy there, out in front of the net. Now I look up. <laughs> I, I start to wind up, and I look up, and the net is vacant. <laughs> I start to laugh, and Cheevers had gone over, and the defenseman gave me a wide berth, and he gave me about three quarters of the net. Cheevers was over hiding behind his defenseman. <laughs> and I fired it in the open side.